Christmas is just right around the corner, meaning that toy clutter is probably soon to follow. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through some toy organizing systems that actually work and show you how you can implement these systems into your own home on a budget. If you have kiddos at home, you know that toys can add up quickly, and especially after the holidays or birthdays, it's time to declutter and reorganize. Before we dive into the tips, if you are new here, welcome. I'm Lindsay with Organize to Save, and, and I'm here to help you get organized with budget-friendly tips and tricks, so that way you can declutter and get organized. If you don't know, I announced a couple weeks ago that we are actually expecting another baby in our home. I've been starting to think about our playroom and how down the line we're gonna need to rearrange it and start getting ready for a baby. So I took advantage of needing to declutter the toys and actually rearranged our entire playroom to help with that transition down the line. So using it for the past couple weeks, we've really Really loved this new layout and all the organizing systems that I've set in place. Now a lot of these systems are systems that I've used for many years. Now I've done several playroom organizing videos in the past so I'll have those all linked down below if you want to go check them out. If you've seen any of those videos you'll see that the layout of this room is now so much more different. We really wanted to separate the room into two different zones which brings me to my first tip is that you need to have a play zone. Whether it be an actual playroom or just a spot in your kid's bedroom or a little spot in your living room, you need to have a designated spot where these toys can live because otherwise they're gonna be scattered throughout the entire house and it's gonna be so hard to keep track of them and to keep them organized. We actually set up a family zone and a playroom zone in this room. We divided it in two. And the reasoning behind that was because down the road, as we have another baby come into this home, I really wanted to have a spot that was gonna be more baby friendly and then a spot that was gonna be more big kid friendly. As you'll see, as we go through these different systems, all of the toys that I have on the family side of the room are toys that are gonna be more baby friendly toys. Everything on the back side of the room is gonna be for bigger kids. One thing that we did move over into the baby zone is the sensory wall that I actually built for Ellie when she was a baby. I wanted to bring this over into the baby area and that also freed up some space over on her side of the room for some other things that we added, which I'll show you here in a moment. But I love that we're utilizing our wall space. Now, one of my favorite ways in order to corral kids' toys is to sort things by category. Now you can do this multiple different ways, but I personally love these cube storage systems. We have these all over our house, in my daughter's closet and down here. It's a really easy way for kids to be able to quickly find what they're looking for and it keeps things categorized. As you're going through your kids' toys, I would suggest that you start sorting things by category and then grouping all of those things into one bin. So for example, if you have all of your baby doll clothes, you're gonna to wanna to put those all into one bin. Now, since we were actually moving things around in this room, I did actually purchase a couple new pieces, but again, these were on a budget. These cube systems, you can generally find these on sale multiple different places. I'll leave a couple links down below. But we added this white one behind the couch, and we also added a little storage bench as well. This allowed us to spread out the toys a little bit more and make it a lot easier for my daughter to find exactly what she's looking for. Now you do not have to get fancy with the bins that you buy. The majority of the ones that I have are from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I like these Dollar Tree white bins because they're simple, classic, they're easy for the kids to pull in and out. And the way that I step this up a notch is by labeling, which is my next step. I highly, highly, highly suggest that you label your bins and drawers. When we're talking kids, if your kid isn't able to read yet, I would suggest that you do both picture and word labels. This is gonna help them easily identify what's in that bin, but also it's gonna help them as they learn to read as well because you'll have the words on there as well. I went ahead and created all new labels for all of my bins because I wanted them to all be the same. And you can do this yourself very easily. I just went to canva.com and created little clip art word labels. Now I asked over on my Instagram and you guys wanted these available as a freebie. So I added these to my website. If you are a email subscriber, which is linked down below, you can get these. The labels that I used were from the Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot. Again, you do not have to spend a ton of money in order to get organized. I personally really like these Dollar Tree ones. They are amazing and it comes with so many in a pack. I use these all over my home. If you've watched any of my previous organizing videos, you've probably seen these labels. 
but now every single cubby and bin is labeled with what it is. So it's gonna be super easy not only for my daughter to find what she's looking for, but also when we have friends and family over, it's gonna be great because then they're gonna be able to know where things go and be able to help pick up cleanup at the end of the day. Now typically with kids stuff, I like to leave it down at kid level, but don't forget you can also utilize wall space. I have over in our little kitchen zone, little baskets that I've secured to the wall, and those are great in order to keep all of my daughter's play food up there. I also have a couple shelves on the wall that we're planning to use as display shelves for different toys or even as her little Lego creations because she's starting to really get into Legos lately. So don't forget to leave a little bit of white space so that way your kids can have space to display the things that are really special to them. Whether it be an art wall, I love using the Dollar Tree clipboards to create a little gallery wall for my, all of my daughter's creations. Elves or some blank surface space so that way they can display all their Lego creations. Now another fun budget friendly hack for you, utilize things that you already own. I wanted to rework this wall that we have we used to have an alphabet wall up there, but I might actually use that in the nursery down the line. Want to see what we end up doing to the nursery? Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the future baby videos. But I rummaged through all of my frames and pulled out a couple that go together nicely. And again, just went on canva.com and created a couple really cool art prints. This is so easy and so budget friendly. All that I had to do was print them off. And I printed them off on two eight and a half by 11s, cut them to size, taped them together. Now we have some custom artwork in the playroom and I just love how this turned out. A great Dollar Tree hack for you, pick up some of these poly envelopes. These are great to store like colorful paper or stickers and throw them into a craft bin. This keeps all of the little pieces together and it's super easy for my daughter to find what she's looking for and get her crafting on. Now with sectioning off the playroom, I've actually found that we are able to keep it so much cleaner. Since my daughter's play area is now a little bit more condensed, I've actually found that she herself has been picking up and putting things away where they belong before I even have to tell her to, because she knows that if she puts something away, she's gonna have more space to play with everything else. And it's also been easier for her to put things away because they're all super easy to access. She's absolutely loving playing over here now and I love how this now functions for our family and will continue to function as our family grows. If you're looking for more budget-friendly hacks and how to get your kids organized, make sure to check out the video on your screen right now and we'll see you over there.